the tier 12 medic Seraph. Yes, as you can see, she does look a bit spooky. That's because I'm, uh, she has ghost powers. So maybe I should show the we weapons and maybe you'll see why. So over here is the Soul Savior gun, which means she will shoot out bursts of light to the monster and and it will it could somehow um, uh, do uh, it could somehow heal the the other hunters just for a little bit. Now on with the resurrection ghost. Um, it's kind of like Lazarus's uh, glove, but and uh, she summons a ghost and uh, she finds and uh, the ghost finds any uh, 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 know, excuse me uh, injured or dead hunter and revives him or her with a ghost. Um, the ghost will disappear after uh, it get, it gets hit by one time. And up next is the sudden robot bombs, meaning that she will uh, place a, a couple of robots in the ground and they will uh, jump on a monster attacking the, him or her. And finally the healing burst. To the tier 12 support, Dimitri. Yeah, some uh, He's got a monocle, and whatever happened to his eyes, it's a long story. He's he get he lost his uh, eyesight for due from a uh, an unusual blackout, which is which is why his uh, one of his eyes is well unusual. Well, anyway, so here is his Tesla gun. He will shoot a bullet Tesla bolts that not only will it uh do damage to the monster, but overload one of the monster's abilities for a few seconds. Up next is the lightning sword. Which means he will uh carry, he will uh turn on turn on his uh, his sword like a, a lightsaber, and um uh now maybe not only will it do uh, attacks on the monster, but it will uh, do a lightning strike on it. And finally, and the the Tesla mines or like the Tesla gun, the same thing with the, the with it, but it's it does it does good damage too. And finally, the cloaking field. The tier 12 trapper Trevor. Yes, uh, he does look. <laughs> he is. Uh, he's in his uh, mid 50s, and uh, he would sound a little bit like a coach from Left 4 Dead 2, but less on that. Um, uh, first stop is his ice harpoon. He will shoot a harpoon that are that have completely with ice powers, and it will froze the monster for just one minute. And after the monster breaks free, uh, the harpoon is broken. Next, next to the the chain bazooka, he will shoot uh, three missiles. Uh, after shooting one, it will divide into three and go after any uh, nearby targets. And how will it, how will Trevor track is his radar. So make sure you use it for uh, at least ten seconds to earn points. And finally, the mobile arena. Tier twelve assault. Hercules. So here, here ours is his spiral cannon, which means that he will shoot a spiral of a uh, of love of a uh, it'll be like a spiral of uh, fire but colored blue. Now up next is the lava mines. So when he when he when he places these mines, it will uh, or circle from the inner core will shoot out like lava, or like a volcano erupting in. Uh, Let's see, next up is the Magma Overload, which means that he will uh, unleash himself and uh, and blast out um, uh, lava until, or magma, until he's uh, out of magma, kind of like Teorbjorn from Overwatch. And finally, the personal shield for just like every other assault. The 2 year 12 monster, the Avian. Yes, as you can see, uh, he look, she looks uh, very interesting looking. Well, anyway, what the, the third here's one of her abilities: the laser eyes, which um, the monster will move just for a bit, and she will shoot some lasers out of her eyes and a lightness. So she will she will drop a a burst of light, and it can uh, it will make the hunters blind for a few moments, giving the Evia time to attack. And the ground attack: what she will do is that she will uh. Use her claws and put them uh, into the ground and uh, somehow attack the monster hunters. And finally, the death spiral, 
Mitch Moon says she will uh, do a, a, a swirly-like attack, and um, it can do some intriguing damage on the hunters. Yeah.